What is up everybody, welcome back to my channel Mystic Watch and today we got a brand new video. We're going to be doing some PvP on the Grand Cross Global Server. So this is going to be a kind of a continuation of my last PvP video where I showed you guys what the best possible team is for ungeared PvP. And it's the ultimate rush team. So you use ultimate gauge food, you have Merlin in the back with Dien and King, and when you pair those together you're able to get your ultimate very very easily uh, on you know immediately after your first turn so whenever whenever your second turn comes around you can have an ultimate now unfortunately because when i was making that video i was what champion five champion four and you have plenty of people complaining that you know it's it's not realistic or your team would lose in champion in high champion or whatever so i decided to climb keep in mind that before that video started, I already had a loss, so in about another 30 games or so, I lost two more times, and I managed to have a 90% win rate on my way to Champion 2. I'm starting the video from this point, because we're on that final push to Champion 1, and that is, of course, the highest ranking you can get when it comes to ungeared. Geared is another story, but when it comes to ungeared, and this is essentially the most important PvP mode, because this is where you get your gems from, you can completely ignore geared, right? If you don't care about geared PvP, you don't have to play it. But at least in ungeared, you should do your best to get as many gems as you can, because getting up to 60 gems a week is massive. So we're gonna go in. I have the team upgraded a little bit. I managed to get Bond to six star. I managed to get the Grimoire unlocked, and I got my, you know, SSR DN to UR. Even though she's missing one, I ran out of EXP potions. Unlucky. And yeah, let's just jump into it. So this is still going to be the best team for geared, uh, ungeared PvP. I know a lot of people were saying that, hey, you know, this team, you shouldn't say it's the best team because it's hard to get Bon and Merlin. Unfortunately, that's not how that works. But I understand that, you know, you might not have Bon and Merlin. That's perfectly fine. This is a 100% free-to-play team because you will get Bon and Merlin in the coin shop. It, just because you don't have them now, it is kind of irrelevant. And the thing is, unless they drop like some like super broken units in the next like week or two, these two are gonna still be fine doing their thing. The whole concept of this team is the ultimate rush, right? Where you want to rush Dien uh, and King ultimates. But in this case, whenever I see a double blue, or even if I have a... Uh, a double bond start, right? Where I have bonds drain card two times on turn one. I like to go for that because it essentially does the same amount of damage as a uh, what you might call it. Okay, so that Merlin is going to do her ult either way. So we just uh, keep attacking the king and just see if we can kill him. And if we can't, we can't. That's fine. You know, if uh, Merlin... Let's see who Merlin goes for. She... Okay. So cleanse that. Goes for the king. Why would you do that? Idean's gonna wipe your team unless you have an attack card to follow it up. Oh, uh, you had to petrify, but sucks for you. Sucks for you, man. And I'll just do this, right? Because there's a chance that Dien doesn't die, like his Dien. And using that little teeny bit of king extra damage is going to seal the deal. Okay. I'm so mad. I was playing uh, before this. I wanted to get like one win higher or closer to the next uh, like champion one before starting the video. And I forgot my food ran out. So I went into the game without realizing my food ran out and I made a turn uh, like a play assuming it would give me my ultimate turn two. <laughs> and I'm looking at there. I'm like, wait, why don't I have my ultimate? So that was pretty funny.
And yeah, that's pretty much it. The end's ultimate is a lot stronger than King's because of the fact that Dien gets... I, I gotta take a look at the differences in the multipliers, right? But Dien has a SR Griamore bait partner, whereas King needs to have an SSR Dien as his partner. And that's where the issue ends up coming from. Because the way associated units work is you gain more stats from your associated unit for each ultimate dupe they have. And having a 6-6 six, six SSR base SSR unit is significantly harder than getting a 6-6 six, six, uh, SR unit. So you'll see the difference. Let me double check if I first kept my food on auto. But doom, yes, 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 yes. You can see here the difference is like 600 um, attack. But a good amount of it also comes from me not having this final star. And I really need to farm chalices. Man. That final star is going to make a huge difference. But as of right now, my DN does more damage. So we just keep going with the DN. And focusing on her as the win condition, and then King is kind of like the alternate win condition. Bond's there for more damage with his snatch and his drain, and then Merlin's there for the ultimate cage. He doesn't really do much in the fight, but in terms of utility, she has one of the best passives in the entire game. Interesting. What the heck is that team? Okay. So this is nice because I don't have to combine, I don't have to like move a card. Like let's say this was a different card, I would have to go like move the end's card once in order to get maximum ultimate gauge. But I can start off like this. Oh shoot, I didn't specify uh, who I was attacking. That's fine. Ground the Gladius! And we already have that, so King really needs to petrify here. I mean, he needs to cleanse, purify, whatever it is. Otherwise, it's gonna take way more damage. Yeah. Because if you if you don't purify, right? Then you have to like I get another attack off rather than re-debuffing. And once my DN ults once, I don't care. So if she, like, I could have purified to get the bleed off, but I, I really just don't care. So Dien did her job. Once you get one ultimate off, it, it's very hard for them to come back. It's very, very hard for them to come back, okay? <laughs> oh man. That's also the power of not having a Guild Thunder in the back. A lot of these times, these matches take a while because Guild Thunder is just there providing that 30% defense related stats. But, it's too good. We go one, two, three. Nice and easy. Bon is so good, man. And, here we go. Boop. Easy peasy. It seals everything. <laughs> he literally cannot attack. Yeah, just move your cards around, man. Yeah, this is really fun to play, isn't it, for you? Also, I know a couple people were making points that it's like, oh, you're versing people with lower KCC than you. you gotta keep in mind that like, even in this video, right? What did that guy have? 87k CC? That isn't that high. But he's in Champion 2. It does not take that high of a CC to get this far. You might not have a 90% win rate on your climb here. But you're going to be able to climb either way. So that's uh, one thing people have to understand. Where it's like, you know, as long as you're winning more than half your games, you're climbing. So it'll take you longer. But you can still climb no matter what you're doing. This is the team I recommend to climb the fastest. 
So here is an example of what I meant. Now the problem is, I'm actually going to go for this first. Because when Merlin's in the front, what ends up happening is she can immediately remove one of the, the gauges. So even though the end does more damage, this is the way I'm gonna take it. Okay, how how is he gonna do this? Oh, I forgot you could do that. Okay, that's fine. So what we're going to do here is not worry about getting ultimate gauge on Yen and King. This is always a really strong combo. And like I mentioned in the previous match, or two matches ago, that right there is, you know, I just took out half of all their HP. So it's not that big of a deal if, uh, Okay. Let's see, how do we want to do this? I want to see if I can at least kill the king, right? If the king dies, then just bond with his ultimate. There we go is not that much of a threat. Like, yes, it's annoying, but now he has no way of healing. He is still debuffed, so his ultimate damage is not going to be that high. The only thing that I have to worry about is the drain following up the ultimate. Okay, now that, that this now it's going to hurt. <laughs> okay. He does have lifesteal, so he's going to heal up from this. But, not enough. Uh, yeah, let's do it like this. The other method is I do the drain, but I don't do the follow-up whip. But I think this is better because this ends up giving me slightly more damage. Ah! <laughs> Damn. Now he has no way of removing ultimate gauge, and the game's over. So, we're gonna be toxic here. Look at you. Poseidon. Imagine being in Poseidon. Doesn't do that much damage without a, without a drain, buddy. Without a snatchy. This... Actually, does it does two times damage against buffed enemies? So this actually will do a decent amount of damage even without uh, type advantage here. Also, we have a couple of stacks of DN's passive finally on. Ooh, relax. <laughs> so the Guild Thunder buffing the attack actually worked against him. Ah, uh, that was level 2. He heals a lot. Uh, this will do more damage. We go like this. Oh, oh. One. There you go. And I don't know if we have one more match. We do have one more match. Okay. One more match and we hit champion one. So once you get the champion one, you're done for the week. You don't have to do anything. 60 gems secured. That's it. That is really it. Oh man, look at that nice win rate. <sighs> you know, sometimes you just gotta play some PvP, <laughs> show people what's uh what's good. Not on Geared. Geared, I run a different team. I actually use my Jericho on Geared. 
Oh, nice. That combine gives me a start like this. Actually, we don't have to do that. I can go like this and just set up for the next, uh, next turn. We go like this, so Jericho cannot hit me with their weak point move. Um, Arthur will probably get decent damage off on my on my Bond, but because Bond has that inherent life steal, fine. Uh, so he's gonna purify and do it anyways, which is actually really good for me because that means I get a free snatch, drain, and the end ultimate combo. So you you want to do this move first, right? Because on the off chance that Dien kills someone, Bon will lose the stats off that person, because that person no longer exists. Make sure you're ordering your moves correctly. Okay. And I know I did it wrong before, but... Another thing is, like, people always like to point out... You know, I was like, hey, uh, you're, you're making these incorrect plays. Like... Recording, commenting, explaining... And just trying to make a video while also playing gets, you know, makes it so that you, you only have a 20 second clock. So you end up making mistakes. Oh, that didn't kill. But this combined then gives me King Ultimate. And now. <laughs> Same thing here, use the Bond ultimate before the King ultimate. Ooh, are you gonna crit? No, but you just kill. <laughs> and it's over! And just like that, we made it into Champion 1. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'm tilted that I lost the match because I forgot to put my food on. But it's very simple uh, to climb. In Champion 1, got your 60 gems. Like I said, I spend money on the game, my team is going to be slightly better than your average person, but you can get to here, free to play, it's going to take you longer, it's going to take you longer to build your team, it's going to take you longer to get certain units. But at the end of the day, as long as you're winning more than you're losing, you will climb. And keep in mind that Champion uh, in Ungeared still has a decent amount of bots, so you're able to win from the sheer factor that the opponent is not doing the best play every single turn. Even if you're lower CC than them, it doesn't matter. You still have a chance of winning. That's really all it comes down to. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Climb to champion one. The simplest that. Easy wins. I'll start making videos on geared. But when it comes to ungeared, this is really the best team to rock. I'll start doing some funny videos where I'll start messing around with team comps and things like that. Now that I'm already here. But until then, hopefully you guys enjoy. And I'll see you all next time. Peace out.